Okay, I'm going to do a simple problem where we're going to classify these six items as A, B, or C inventory. So we're given these items and we want to classify them. So for a solution, um, let's go ahead and copy these items down into the solution area. And uh, before, before we begin, let's just kind of review A, B, or C inventory. Um, A inventory is the very important items, and they account for 60 to 7% of the annual sales, and 10 to 20% of the number of items or part numbers, not, or not the quantity, but the number of part numbers. So the number of part numbers in an inventory. So, um, Let's go ahead and first thing we want to do is we want to calculate the annual dollars. So the annual dollars those would be equal to basically the unit cost times the annual volume in thousands. Of course that's going to be a number. I um, that wouldn't be a number, that'd be a dollars, okay? And then, uh, so we'll copy that down to each one of these. And let me copy this format over as I go. And then we could say, no, this is this is in percent, right? So the annual dollars in percent. So now I'm going to say annual percent. Dollars. Okay. And I'm going to copy this format over. So now the percent, in order to get the percent, i got to go down here and get the get the get the total uh so i'm going to go here i'm going to go sum get the total and i can see the annual percent in dollars it's going to be equal to this divided by this the total but i'm going to f4 that because i want to use a total in each one of these in each one of these percents and a cut format that is percent i'll take it out one place i guess and that's that's the annual percent dollars of each one of these. So right away I can see right away that 40% is being spent on, you know, 40% is almost this one plus this one. They almost are all the are are over 60% in annual dollars, right? And so anyway, so let's go ahead and sort this now. So I'm going to sort it from the smaller to the larger so I can see a little bit better. Uh, what's going on? So I'm going to go. I'm going to highlight just this. I'm going to go data, sort. Okay, I'm going to sort by annual percent, and I want to go from the largest to the smallest because I'm going to have A's on top. Okay, so 160 per 70 percent of the annual dollars, and on the bottom is 10 to 15 percent. So. Just looking at that, I would say this has to be an A for sure. And this one has to be a C. I would call that a C. But the question is to include this in the A. Well, what about the items? Well, each one of these is one sixth, right? So this would be 16 per 16. This would be equal to one sixth. I could say this equals to one divided by six, right? Each one of these, that's how much of a percent it is. I can say 17%. And here it says 10 to 20, right? So that looks like that would that would meet that qualification. If I if I included this as B, then this would be like 63%, which would be okay in that, but it would be outside of that. So you kind of have to use a rule of thumb, right? So this is so this is the this is the number. Number of items, items, percent, right? And this would be the classification. Okay. So, uh, so this would be kind of iffy which way you'd want to go. Uh, myself, I'd probably call this one B, this one B. And 
and then also this 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 so this one here for this would also be like it says it's uh, 50 to 60 percent well the c is going to be equal to 50 percent if i do all three of them right but and then and then if you add these together if i sum these if i go sum these three that's 17.8 percent which is a little bit high for there but it falls into this category so i would call that c okay so these, these would be these would be 50 percent and these would be about and, and the symbol would be less so we're basically i try to you try to satisfy these two the top and the bottom and then in the middle is what's left over okay so this would be 17 percent so it, it, it satisfies this this would be 50 percent it satisfies this these three would be 17 and a half, 8 percent, so it's a little bit above. This is 17 percent, but this is a little bit below. So again, it's kind of a rule of thumb, and that's kind of what I want you to show you here. This is a rule of thumb when you classify A, B, or C. So anyway, this is how I would end up. I would end up with, with that. You could very easily call this A. You'd be very, you'd be call this B, and you wouldn't be wrong. But I'm just going to go ahead and say B here and C here. So it's 41%. So like I said, I'm outside of my requirements here, but I'm still within that on, on, on the number of items. And then here, this is 50%. Well, it's within here, but it's a little bit high over here. It's 17%. Okay. And the B is basically what's left over. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense. I know it's kind of a you know, a lot of people like to be able to solve, get, get an exact solution for some of these things. But when you're classifying A, B, or C, especially when you're using not very many items, it's hard to get within these ranges. These are like rule, what's called a rule of thumb. Okay, so hopefully that helps. Thank you. Bye.